what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? I just gave my cockatrice its first wash. It's only wash. Now I'm in the process of letting it dry while I wait for my last video to render. So by the time you're watching this video, that means that this will have already be, been put up on YouTube, the first one. My first assembly video. But for me, in the present, I am waiting for those wash to dry and then I'm going to be giving it its highlight colors. So from the last time you saw me, the washes were on all the turquoise parts. I washed a sermon blue. On all the purple, par purple parts, I washed with leviathan purple. The flesh, I gave ogren flesh wash. The red, I washed with badab black. And the yellow with devlin mud. So I love the wash phase because it ties everything together. It gives you this sort of idea of what the model is going to look like when it's done. And it just makes it look so cool. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to start on the highlight phase and I'll check back in with all y'all when that's done. Alright players, my cockatrice is done. Finished painting him up just now. So let's take a little bit of a look and see what I did with them. Before we do though, first thing, these wings, because they're resin, if you put them in <laughs> an environment where there might be a little bit of heat, say, oh, I don't know, um, your car, when you are taking him to be painted somewhere that's not your man cave, like say, uh, a hobby store, and you decide to stop off while the model is in your car leaning against your back seat like this say to step out for oh I don't know maybe a taco and you leave said miniature leaning in your car against your back seat like this for say 30 to 45 minutes the wings come out and they get a little bit warped warped so there's my story but you know what, after I tried fixing it, I decided, no, I'm gonna leave it. Because number one, it looks like the model is in some sort of panicked taking off or attack. And number two, it makes my cockatrice different from every single cockatrice elsewhere in the entire world. And I'm okay with that. So there's my little rant. Let's take a look at this model. So I went with the ice blue for the neck feathers and I washed it with a very heavily watered down hawk turquoise. I got just a little bit. But for the bottom part of the plumage right over there, I washed it with a sermon blue. So it looks like the bottom part is a little bit darker, a little bit dirtier, maybe the light is hitting it at a different angle. I tried as much as I could to keep the, the coloring on the box, box art. So light blue for the wings, which I did with ice blue, or I'm sorry, hawk turquoise washed down with a sermon blue and then highlighted up with ice blue, as well as the feathers and scales on the back. I used Hormagant purple for the wings. For the scales, I used scab red and then washed it with badab black and then highlighted up with blood red and blazing orange as well as the scales for his chicken feet. And the spots, the leopard spots, I did with bestial brown or and then scorched brown, making the little crescent shapes and then filling them in with tau sept ochre. The, all the flesh is talern flesh, then given a leviathan purple wash to give it a kind of sickly, sickly look to it, as well as ogre and flesh wash for just the regular parts that aren't as sickly looking, but for the ribs, I thought, oh, that's, it looked too normal. And so I wanted to give it this bruised, kind of sickly, gross sheen to it, which is when I decided, hey, I'll just use my rotting flesh recipe, which is the, the purple, 
Leviathan Purple Wash and yeah, it came out great. As well as here in the folds of the legs. Okay, the scorpion t tail, any of the bird leg parts I used, and in Dark Sun, and then I highlighted up with a little bit of Space Wolves Grey, I think, and Bleach Bone, and then carried in granite for any of the talons and I guess whatever this stinger thing is and highlighted up with Space Wolves Grey and then I gave it a coat of gloss varnish. So there he is, I'm not sure how I'm planning to base him so I just left the base blank for now and use Deneb Stone on the skulls washed down with some Devlin mud but I'll probably give it some, a rocky base with some grass and you know something like that just normal to fit into any kind of army. And here he is, the Citadel Fine Cast Cockatrice. Let me back up a little bit and get him in frame with the box art. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? So, there you are. I hope you liked this unboxing slash paint up video. I'm sorry I had to break it up into two, into two videos but I just couldn't get it all done. I wanted to get the first part out and and so I, I broke it up. But stay tuned because I got some more great stuff coming up. Some more in with the old, some painting tutorials for stubble and also dark elf flesh and some scarring, a scarring tutorial, how I do my scars. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me comments on, on what you liked, what you didn't like, what you thought I should do differently. One last thing to look at is that these cockatrices have back spines and I think mine came with some miscasts because it looks like they broke off. A couple of them broke off so so that was kind of disappointing but other than that I, I think I covered up most of the mold lines and miscasts and everything so really proud of him and really happy that I have this now in my collection. Thanks for watching, y'all, and see you later. Bye -bye.